Hi everybody. So this is going to be a different video. I'm not in my regular studio and the video set up, you wouldn't even believe what I've got going on here. Over here, I have this huge, let's see, it's about two feet tall, 18 inches box with my iPad on top of it with two boxes of dominoes holding as a counterbalance. And um, I am actually up in the wilderness. Uh, that's my dog. My husband just left on the four-wheeler and he's very sad he didn't get to go. Um, so, Gus, come here. Come here. And I'm in the cabin up in the mountains. It's very rustic um, and it's beautiful. And it's a great day to hang out and craft. And I hope the video will, you can hear all the sounds and it'll be peaceful and all of that. That was my goal. So guess what I get to play with today? These digitals are from Martha Manigros. They are beautiful. I couldn't wait. Look at this. But you guys, look at that. Oh, I couldn't wait to print them off and stuff them in my little tote and bring them with me because I knew um, my husband was going to be off putting in a pump for our spring water and I knew I would have some time to craft and do a video. <clears throat> I'm hoping that my iPad doesn't shut out because there's no storage. I'm still working on that. I don't know how people solve that problem. I'm sure there's a cure. I've been doing some investigative work. Look at that little bee. Oh, how cute. So, Martha doesn't know that I am doing this video about her paper. Look at that, you guys. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, so look at all that. So you're going to see more of this um, kit, this digital set from Martha, because what I want to do today is I want to do these. I should have brought them with me, but I'm also trying to do the challenge from Andrea, the um, Fab Tag... 30 day challenge. I'm, I'm not even close to, I think I might have 12 tags. <laughs> but it's been fun because it's kind of encouraged me to, to make some more tags and get some ephemera done for some journals I've got in my head that I want to pull off. Okay. These are uh, toilet paper rolls that um, I've been collecting and I wiped them all down with a Lysol wipe and and I have made some adorable tags with these I left them home can't show you sorry but I thought I'd play some more with these so I brought my little Cricut cutter and I want to show you well let's start from start I'm going to get ahead of myself. So let's start from the start. So firstly, let's see what I can find that's small enough that I don't cut off a bird's head or something. Oh, this looks perfect right here, doesn't it? Well, you wouldn't be able to see the... Hmm. Oh, look at... Oh, I, I would just be able to do that. Just barely, barely. Would I get to spread your wings? Nope. Okay, how about this one? Hmm, there's so many. I kind of like this one. Oh, I don't want to, I don't want that. I don't want to cut that off. Let's see, can it, nope. Okay, let's move on. 
Oh, this would be cute. That would be perfect, wouldn't it? Okay, so let's let's cut the big part out. That's the wonderful part about digitals, right? Is if you mess up a page, you can just... Ooh, gosh, I hate to cut that. I was talking about I can print it over again, but even though I know that... Oh, I'm going to do it. I hate to cut it. I don't want to cut that. Let's see if I can do this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I like leaving the edge of the toilet paper roll. <laughs> I don't know why, but I like to distress it and leave it, so... So I'll just cut it a little shy, right? Oh, geez, Carol, that isn't straight at all. Not one tiny bit. So we might be looking at a little lace on the bottom because Carol can't cut. Okay, so let's distress this. So I really am camping out, you guys. I'm not organized. I don't have all my comforts of my craft room. Um, but the energy is so cool. And I really wanted to do something in my cabin. My cabin's really, you know, it sounds really prestigious, but it it's not. It's very rustic. We just recently got solar power. Um, but until then... We get our water from a spring, and um, we use propane for everything. Um, but it, it's it's peaceful and and it's wonderful. Uh, and I I really believe that that kind of energy is transposed into what you're making, um, which reminds me I. Uh, I have, I've talked about it before on my channel about when you're crafting or making, sewing, weaving, spinning, uh, I'm a soap maker and when you're making soap, if you go into it all stressed and tense and uh, afraid, you know, if you've set that bar that everything has to be perfect um, and it has, you have to hurry and all of that, that I believe that the fabric, the paper, the wool, the material that your hands are touching, they are like magnets and they do take on that energy. When Have you ever been shopping and picked out a lamp or something, a blanket or whatever, and or at an antique store and picked something up and just thought, hmm, I don't know. I don't like the way that makes me feel. I don't like what I think of when I hold that in my hand. Yeah. Yeah, I believe that. So already, see how it looks kind of old? I love that. And you almost can't tell how crooked it is. <laughs> Sorry, Martha. I'm trying hard to honor your hard work here, but... And I hope Martha doesn't mind that I'm talking about her. I checked last night and I have 90 subscribers. I'm so close. I have the packet to give away. Almost done. Almost done. When I get to 100 subscribers, I am going to give away a packet of all kinds of cool stuff. Um, it's 
some words and some book pages and fabric and there's all kinds of stuff in there. Cool, huh? You know, I don't know if I brought my stamper or my, uh, I'm not, um, Okay, so what's the thing called that makes the hole cut? Gee, many Christmas. That was hard. Hold on. I'm sitting on a bench. Do I have to slide to the edge? Uh, doesn't look like I brought my hole punch. Shoot, I can't believe that. I can't hardly believe I didn't do that. But I didn't. You know what else I didn't bring? I didn't bring my, um, 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 folio book. So that will limit some of the things I have, but let me read to you. Not a lot, just a little. This is the book that uh, I bought when I was learning to weave. I'm a hand spinner, and I am not a weaver. I, I want to learn. Well, let me, let me rephrase that. Intermittently, I want to learn. <laughs> and my husband made me a Navajo loom, and um, that's my goal. I want to make some blankets. But uh, this book uh, talks about uh, when they're weaving, the Navajo uh, weavers believe that it's actually a spiritual experience. And I tabbed this page because I believe this is true not just for weaving, but for crafting and making, when you're making with your hands. It's personal. It says, you can always tell those who spiritually spiritually care about their weaving slash I think crafting their loom space <laughs> well I think I'm going to read this their loom space is clear all around Tiana Big Horse told me in 1970 the weaver and the loom are one what affects one affects both everything around gets woven into a rug wisps of yarn left lying around are caught and woven in Loose hair from brushing floats about and is woven in. The weaver stops to remove them. The weaving rhythm is halted. The interruption is woven in. Charles Laloma, Hopi silversmith, quotes his weaver father. It's not enough to weave beautiful rugs. You have to think beautiful thoughts while weaving them. An angry weaver bangs hard, pulls yarn tight, Sides go in. Thoughts left lying around get woven in. But if you align yourself just as you do the loom, then in the clearness you can hear the song. And then it repeats the song. But I believe that for anything that we do. Cooking, sewing, all of that. So that, that book is very inspirational to me. Okay, moving right along. How about if we put these flowers on the back? It won't, it won't um, be noticeable, like I've chopped something's head off. If I just take the edge off. Let's see, where are we at? What part do we want? I want this right here. Can you hear my dog over there frumping? He's so upset. We've been teaching them, the dogs, we have two uh, standard schnauzers, and we have been teaching them that they can't go after deer and God forbid a skunk and all that kind of jazz. So 
really been working hard on having them come when they're called because it's so important that they don't get stung by a porcupine or something strange like that. So, early this morning, my husband took them for a walk and they misbehaved and they interrupted somebody on the, in their camp. And so now they got to stay home. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I might leave that in. My uh, blade apparently isn't very sharp. And it made a boo-boo. How close is it? Oh. Maybe I'll cut it off. Oh, somebody just drove up. Oh, let's look at it. Oh, it's going to be hard to tell which is the front and back. So maybe this will be a floating pocket. Oh, that's so... It's so pretty, Martha. I love it. I'm not even gonna cut that circle off. See that little boo-boo there? I'm not gonna cut it off. Okay, y'all, I got, let me see if I can show you. If you're wondering why your pins are rusty in your glue, this is stainless steel. I got it on Amazon. I think you could probably go to Joann's. I paid way too much for these. I think I paid I don't even know, $4.99 or something for six of them. But they do come in a little glass bottle so that you can kind of keep them straight. Uh, not straight as opposed to crooked, but straight as opposed as in different from all of your other pins. Maybe I should tear this one instead of having it straight. Or maybe I will. I'll just tear it, maybe. They're sad. They can hear my husband outside. Sorry, they're whining. This is what you call a real life video. <laughs> life happens kind of thing, you know? Let's do that. So it's nice to be up in the mountains um, where there's basically no COVID-19. We do have some other people in the area that have cabins, but because of COVID where people would normally hang out and things, it's really not happening. Everybody is kind of staying to themselves and that's okay. I'm caught, I'm good with that. Oh, look how pretty that is. It's just gorgeous. Okay, so look. Love it. Let's glue it. I'm gluing right on my paper my table. This table is actually, it's a, it's what we eat on. It's our dining room table, but uh, it's actually a door. And then the, we've got bench seating all the way around it. It actually sits, bench seating is, you're looking to seat a lot of people. I like it. Oh, what do you think? So this toilet paper roll idea is not my original idea. I believe it was Angela, is her last name Kerr? I believe that's who gave me the idea of the 
uh, toilet paper roll. Okay. Um, where did I put? Now, what I did um, with one of the tags that I made, the pocket and tag that I made at home, is I made the tag so you could pull it out either way. And I don't know if I want to do that with this. I don't think I will. Because the flowers are standing straight up. Uh-oh. Did you guys know I did that? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So, now what? So, do I want to glue over that? I could. I think I want to. I think I want to do this over again. Let's do it. Let's have a do over. I sure do love that. But the words are going to. I do have this. It's not Martha's, but. Eh, that's more like insects. What else you got in your bag, Martha? What else? What else? Let's look. Oh, look. Okay, that's not going to happen. We have flowers on one side, so I'm kind of thinking I want something else on the other. Oh, that bird is just precious. Oh, here we go. La, la, la. Okay, here we go. I'm going to take it right out of the middle. I know, he drove right off, didn't he? No, Gus. No, no. And yeah, now he doesn't get to go. He normally gets to go everywhere. So now he's really sad. It's actually probably... Probably a good thing that he's staying home with me because he has some arthritis and if he runs all day with the four wheelers, it really can start to get, yeah, let's see that, that's it, nope, that's not going to happen. It can really bother him. I'm cutting this, what I'm hoping to be way big. I know I'm off camera, but I don't know. Let's see. How's that? This little cutter. I'm really kind of impressed with it. the way it came I bought a used Cricut and it came with it and I never ended up using the Cricut but I wanted to keep the cutter just because now I think what I'll do since I'm doing one piece of paper over the next and I want to keep that border I want to go ahead and the 
just see what that looks like after it's in the tape. Might be okay. Do you all have a special place that you're able to go? The backyard or do you have a trailer you take out? I do like it better with an edge and so a bigger edge, so I'm gonna go ahead and make that happen. Oh my corners are don't drive. <laughs> I'm deliberately not talking to him because he'll just want to complain to me and whine and get even more upset. And if I pay him no mind, he'll lay down, I'm sure. Well, I'm hoping. Oh! I believe that. Let's do it. I've talked about this before in my other videos. Gus, no. Um, I have, um, what's it called? That, the white glue, um, art glitter glue. And I've used it, and I love it. But I found um, a gallon of Elmer's school glue. Did I do it right? Ta-da. No harm, no foul. I found a gallon of Elmer's school glue on sale with my coupon and everything. It was like five bucks. Well, you, you can't beat that. I thought, it, you know, I can use it for Mod Podge if nothing else. Well... I put it in my bottle and I've been using it. It doesn't ripple the paper. See, it's flat. I love that it's not in the middle. Okay. Now, if I had my hole punch, I would punch that. Or even if I had small scissors, but I don't. So, this is some... Pardon me to the maker of this paper, but I don't care for it. But I got it free, so I'm using it. Um, scrapbook paper. It's, it's got some substance to it. Y'all, I'm not a measurer. I, I just don't measure. I, well, I will. If I have to, I will. But even when I do, I'm not very good at it. Well, I'm terrible at it. I mean, that's the truth. I'm just terrible at it. I can't get two sides to be the same. Nothing's straight. I, I'm awful at it. So, I, well, I was when I started this today, I thought I was going to make one like I had at home, but I don't. I'm not going to. I'm going to make it so that it just comes in and out the top. The one I have at home, it comes off the sides like so, and um, I went ahead and put rivets on both sides. I'll show it to you at another video. Anyway, so now we got to cover this. So, do we want to... Okay, Martha, what you got, girl? What you got? Let's look. to tear it up but it would be beautiful for collaging but I know you already have oh look there's a well 
I'll be jiggered. Okay, so let's do this. This is some writing paper. I bet you can't see that, but it has lines. So let's do that on one. And... Hmm. I wonder if those... I wonder if these tags would be the size I need. See these tags are already, can you see them? I can see there's a glare, I'm sorry. Boy, pretty darn close, huh? Let's, let's call that good. how in your own space you kind of have a rhythm. Gus, no. Did I bring my... I think I did bring my hole punch, my crocodile, but I set it out. So I'm thinking, hmm, do I want to cut that edge? Yeah, yeah, let's do. I like this sculpted edge. Martha, nice touch. These scissors are not uh, meant for fine work. Oh, that's going to be gorgeous, isn't it? <laughs> I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. Okay. So our, take the end off, Carol. Our um, Tuesday morning is shutting down. I understand they're shutting down only some. I don't know if in you guys' area if yours is shutting down. But it's a sad day. But I went uh, to their closeout, one of their closeout sales. I waited till it was 30-something percent off and picked up some Tim Holtz tape It was four ninety nine, three ninety nine, and then thirty or forty percent off. I think. I really try not to pay retail. I don't care to pay retail for anything. this lined paper but I want to cut the edge off this afternoon my big plan is to do some slow stitching maybe I will just measure this I know it's upside down. Does she need the cutter, folks? No, she's gonna weigh it. Of course, 
colors. I might be sorry, but I'm going to do it anyway. Gus, stop, please. Quit. Might be even cute to have the polka dots in the background. Kind of a little, I don't know. It's a mystery sort of thing. I'm just going to do the whole thing and then cut around it. Gus, no. Come here. Come here, bud. Come here. Let's see. Does it has a bird, doesn't it? You're okay. I know you're mad. I know you've got a broken heart. Come here, bud. Don't sit by me. He's looking at me like, you don't understand. You don't understand. I'm so excited to get a hundred prescribers. <laughs> subscribers I don't know why I don't know why it just because I guess I get to ship this package off so when I get to a hundred subscribers what I'm gonna do is do a video I'm gonna do a hundred a hundred a hundred th at the end subscriber video and um, show the package and then that will be the video that I use to pick so you have to comment because I don't know any other way of picking anybody I, I haven't figured out how to see a list of subscribers or anything like that so I assume I'm gonna have to make a video look at that you guys And then um, I was thinking what I would do is use that YouTube uh, scrambler that just randomly chooses out of the comments on a specific video. You enter the video, you know, and it, it awesome. Fast. Thank you, Martha Manigros. It says stop and smell the flowers. All right. I'm not going to um, drag this video on. I am going to punch a hole in here. I'll put some, this looks like a likely suspect for a tie and I may or may not tape the bottom. I might wait till I get home and sew it or I might punch little holes and do some hand stitching with some embroidery floss. Maybe if I get that done, maybe I'll do another video here at the cabin. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed spending time with me this morning at my cabin. I hope it was enjoyable. Let's all take care of each other. Bye-bye.